Hello, I'm Brian Farrell, and welcome to Pace IT's session on troubleshooting theory. Today we're going to talk about the importance of having a methodology in the six-step troubleshooting methodology recommended by CompTIA. And with that, let's go ahead and begin this session. So we begin by talking about the importance of having a methodology. And I like this quote by Stone Gossard from Pearl Jam. My methodology is not knowing what I'm doing and making that work for me. Not everybody can do that, especially not in the tech world. Due to the complexity of modern computing systems, the wise technician will have and follow a troubleshooting methodology. Not having that methodology in place means you're much more likely to waste time and effort and create frustration not only for yourself but also for your end user. Now let's move on to CompTIA's six steps to troubleshooting. CompTIA recommends the following six steps. The first step is to identify the problem. The second step is to establish a theory of probable causes. The third step is to test the theory of probable cause. The fourth step is to develop an action plan and implement that plan. Step five is to verify complete system functionality. And step six is to document the process. Now let's discuss each of those steps in a little bit more detail. Identifying the problem. The first thing that you need to be aware of is the symptoms are not the problem. You need to get down to the base problem. That is the thing that is causing the symptoms to manifest. And to do that, you should question the user. You need to ask them questions about when it occurred and why it occurred. You should try and determine what has changed. And before you do anything else, you need to make a backup of the system just so you can preserve everything as it is. From there, you establish a theory of probable causes. You make a list of all of the probable causes then using your technical knowledge, prioritize that list. You sh your list should have the probable causes listed from most likely to likely to least likely. And by the way, you need to question the obvious. If it's a power issue at the workstation, is the power cord plugged in? Once you have your theory of probable causes, this is where you first consider whether or not you can take care of it or if you need to escalate it. To a higher authority. Once you have your probable causes, now you need to test your theory of probable cause to determine if it's the actual cause. Your theory was created off of the most likely probable cause, so you need to figure out how you're going to test it. If the theory is confirmed, move on to the next step. If the theory isn't confirmed, go back to step two or step one if needed. Once you have determined the actual cause by testing your probable cause, then you need to establish an action plan and execute the plan. Simple problems will probably just need simple plans. But if it's a complex problem, then you may need to write out the plan so that you can be sure to execute it correctly. This is another spot where you can escalate the problem if need be. After you have executed your plan, you need to verify full system functionality. If everything works, great. This is where, if it's applicable, you implement preventative measures to prevent the problem from occurring again. If full system functionality has not occurred, well, that's not quite so great. Now you need to go back to step one. But let's talk about if everything was fully functional. This is where you need to document the process. This is where you document findings, actions, and outcomes. This is so if the problem occurs again, there is a document that will walk somebody through an easy way to resolve the issue. It also gives a history of equipment and users so that problem children can become known. Another important aspect of this is that both positive and negative outcomes need to be documented. This is so that other people don't make the same mistakes that you might have made. Now that concludes this session on troubleshooting theory. We discussed the importance of having a troubleshooting methodology 
in CompTIA's six-step troubleshooting methodology. Now, on behalf of Peace IT, thank you for watching this session, and I'm sure we will do some more.